Hello. So I've been asked multiple times to do a hair tutorial. Obviously this isn't what we're going for. Um, I just washed my hair because I'm going to do a death hawk slash mohawk for you guys. Um, the one that I do. You're going to need this hairspray. There really isn't a better hairspray than got to be glued. This is my favorite shit. I highly recommend it. Get this. You need a teasing comb. I mean, you can probably use any brush, but I like a teasing comb. Um, and a flat iron. There's a million other um, Death Hawk Mohawk tutorials. I suggest, you know, try whatever method works the best for your hair um, and for your goals. So my goal is when I do my Mohawk, I want it to last as long as possible. Like I'm probably, darn, there's all coughing. I'm probably going to put my hair up and then leave it up for like four or five days and then eventually let it, um, do the bushy thing it does after I put it up. So this is why I do my hair this way specifically because some people just tease and spray and then whatever, but I want mine to last a long time. So that's why I burn it in with this. This is probably horrible for your hair. If you have, um, like a lot of breakage or you care about your hair falling out, you probably shouldn't do this, but I don't give a shit. So, uh, I do this to my hair and it's like at a super high heat. Like you'll hear my hair, you will hear my hair burn when I do this. And, um, also if you have a tender scalp, you probably don't want to do this. Um, my, my scalp is really used to doing this. So let's get started because this takes like 45 minutes and I'm doing this with my iPhone instead of my camera because I don't know how to use this camera very well yet. And I don't know how to edit either. So let's just go for it. So the way I start is I take like a section of hair. It doesn't matter. I like to start in this corner just because that's what I've always done. And I take a little piece. I spray it. And... Like this. This is like super damaging to hair. Like I said, if you are worried about your hair falling out, don't do this. Because I'm not worried about my freaking hair falling out. Alright. Got the mirror behind the camera, so it's kind of hard for me to see what I'm showing you on the camera. Because I'm not a professional. I've never done this before. I mean, I did it one time-ish before. This is too much hairspray in here, but whatever. Now, you can hear it's like sizzling a little bit, but I don't leave it on there for very long. I give you like each one of these just a second to burn. Till it's like this, right? Then I go to the next section. I like to kind of go across this way first and then down. That way um, I don't get my I don't bend the stuff that I do in the front. That's why I do it this way. And then a spray. Uh, I'm gonna do this as fast as possible so I don't have to do too much editing. And I don't have to do it in fast forward so you can't see what I'm doing. But you see I'm like really um, teasing it down. That to me, I think builds a good strong foundation in your hair for it to stay up as long as possible. And then burn it in. Crispy. It's a wonder that I have any hair at all. Right? Okay. Sometimes I can tell, like in here, it's a little too soft back there. So I give it a little, another little squirt and another little fry. I want it to feel pretty stiff. I mean, you could also use this technique to do Liberty Spikes if you wanted to have Liberty Spikes, but I don't, so. I do this. I'm sure there's some tutorials for that from someone else. Okay. 
Also, my phone's not plugged in, so hopefully my battery doesn't die. I'm one of those paranoid people, though, that always thinks that my phone is about to die when it's not. And I'm constantly charging it because what would I do without my phone? Oh, my God. This is, you know, a little bit more. There we go. I do this pretty haphazardly, you know, because it doesn't really matter because in the end, I'm going to tease it all anyway. And almost every time I put my hair up, it's been a while, usually since the last time. And I, half the time I have to trim my hair while it's in the mohawk because I realize it's too freaking long. Let's see. Let's see what happens, guys. And I do suggest that you wear a robe when you do this because this hairspray or any hairspray is probably going to cause some poor clogging. I think on my face, it's pretty protected because of all the makeup I have on. So it's not really clogging my pores on my face. Jesus. I'm sorry I didn't have time to do a movie review this week. I had planned to do one and then I just kept changing my mind as I always do. I'm a super indecisive person and sometimes I just can't make a decision. So this is what this is what we're working with now. And I'm only doing this one time because it's been requested so much. I'll go back to doing movies again. ASAP. This is just one request video and then there'll be another request for this eye makeup that I do one time. I'm not going to be doing tutorials all the time because I literally only do these two things. I do my own style of a mohawk and my own style of eyeshadow and I don't really veer from that style much. If you've seen me, you know what I mean. So this is how this is pretty much I'm done with all the straightening. I think, I mean, I can't see the back of my head, but I think I got it all. So I'm going to turn off my straightener. And now comes this part. I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible. Are you ready? This is the really painful part. Honestly, if your scalp is sensitive at all, don't do this because it hurts. This actually does hurt me as well, but the pain is worth it. The hair loss is worth it for the final product, I'm telling you. Okay. Because um, all I'm doing here is brushing it backwards to make it more teased, tangling it up. That gives it more volume, see? The back is always a little bit flatter than I want it to be, but we'll hairspray that in the end. You'll see. Oh. Honestly, this doesn't hurt that bad this time. Maybe because it's been a while. Or maybe I spoke too soon. Uh. Mm -hmm. Ow. Down here it hurts. <laughs> and your arms will probably get tired. Because that always happens to me too. It takes too long. It really does. But then, that's why I say I leave it up. Oh, this is not good. Oops. Um, that's why I leave it up for so long. Because... If I'm going to go through all this torture, I want it to last as long as possible. Mm-hmm. So, 
this is the shape that I like it to be pretty much. It's like a nice kind of C shape. Um, whatever. Right? Have it a little bit flat right there. But I got it. And it's been just about 45 minutes like I said it would be. Dun, dun, dun. I feel like I should be sponsored by Got To Be Glued, right? Sponsor me. Thank you, and thank you, I should say, thank you for watching. Um, please like, <coughs> like, <laughs> let me start over. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel like it or don't like it, leave a comment, let me know what you don't like so I can fix it if I do another tutorial. Like I said, I'm going to do this tutorial next, but I have to still figure out how I'm going to do that and be close enough to like look in the mirror and the camera at the same time. I'm going to work on that. I'll let you know when I figure it out. So anyways, thank you.